Coming up next on Passion Struck, you face a crucial decision. Will you let fear and self-doubt steer your path or will you take control of your story using the insights and strategies that you've learned to break free and fully realize your potential? Welcome to Passion Struck. Hi, I'm your host, John R. Miles. And on the show, we decipher the secrets, tips, and guidance of the world's most inspiring people and turn their wisdom into practical advice for you and those around you. Our mission is to help you unlock the power of intentionality so that you can become the best version of yourself. If you're new to the show, I offer advice and answer listener questions on Fridays. We have long form interviews the rest of the week with guests ranging from astronauts to authors, CEOs, creators, innovators, scientists, military leaders, visionaries, and athletes. Now, let's go out there and become passion struck. Have you ever stood on the brink of something extraordinary only to hold yourself back with thoughts like, I can't do this, or my efforts don't matter? Perhaps after achieving something remarkable, did you ever doubt your worthiness, feeling like an imposter in your own success story? You are not alone in the struggle. In our personal growth journeys, we all confront the daunting barriers of fear and self-doubt. These silent adversaries cast long shadows, sowing doubts about our abilities and worthiness, often halting our progress and dimming the dreams of a more fulfilling life. Yet the human spirit possesses incredible resilience. When we confront these fears and doubts with the intention to overcome them, we find that they're not the impenetrable walls that we imagine. Instead, they can become catalysts for growth. The key lies in understanding these emotions and consciously applying strategies to dismantle them. In today's episode, I'm going to dive deep into the world of fear and self-doubt. I'll uncover their roots, examine their impact, and unfold effective strategies to help liberate you from their grip. I'll be drawing upon insights from my upcoming book, Passion Struck, 12 Powerful Principles to Unlock Your Purpose and Ignite Your Most Intentional Life to explore foundational concepts about this topic. I'll go into ways not just to avoid fear and self-doubt, but for transforming them into driving forces that propel us towards our true potential. To bring this to life, let's look at the inspiring story, Wayne The Rock Johnson, a Hollywood icon who tackled these very challenges head on and emerged victorious, channeling them into his extraordinary success. Join me as we explore these complex emotions and learn how to harness them as forces for empowerment and growth. Dwayne Douglas Johnson, globally known as The Rock, epitomizes the remarkable journey from the throes of self-doubt to the pinnacle of stardom. His story is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the transformative power of self-belief. Born May 2nd, 1972 in Hayward, California, Johnson's early life was a battleground of adversities. Young Johnson grappled with uncertainty amid his family's financial struggles and the fluctuating fortunes of his father's wrestling career. At the age of 17, Dwayne had already faced multiple arrests for engaging in things like fights, theft, and check fraud. On one occasion, the police even arrived at his school to pull him out of class for an arrest. However, his athletic prowess shone through these hardships, opening the door to a promising football career at the University of Miami. It was at the University of Miami, amidst the tough competition and high stakes of a top-tier football program in its limelight, that Johnson started to hone his resilience. Despite facing formidable challenges and being overshadowed by more celebrated teammates like Warren Sapp, Johnson embraced each hurdle with tenacity that would later define both his wrestling and acting careers. After college, his football aspirations led to an initial foray into the Canadian Football League, where he encountered a string of rejections and setbacks, culminating in a career-ending dismissal. Faced with financial difficulties and an uncertain future, wrestling, an heirloom of his family legacy, emerged as his beacon of hope at this critical juncture. In 1996, despite the skepticism of his father and the doubts of wrestling trainers, Johnson boldly stepped into the World Wrestling Foundation, the WWF, now known as the WWE. Yet the wrestling ring was no immediate sanctuary. Initially introduced as Rocky Mavaya, a nod to his father's and grandfather's wrestling legacies, Johnson was met with criticism and jeers from the crowd. This could have been a crushing blow, a reason to retreat for many, but not for Johnson. He perceived these hurdles not as setbacks, but as stepping stones, a crucible for his reinvention and rise. This early phase of his career, marred by self-doubt and early skepticism, was the forge in which the charisma and the character of The Rock was developed. It is here 
that Johnson's unyielding spirit transformed adversity into opportunity, paving the way for the legend that he would become, a beacon of perseverance, reinvention, and triumphant self-belief. As Dwayne Johnson's wrestling career reached stratospheric heights, he dared to envision a new chapter in Hollywood. This transition from the wrestling ring to the silver screen was fraught with doubts. Can a wrestler truly become the leading character, he wondered. Yet Johnson chose to confront these doubts head-on, determined to realize his full potential. His foray into acting began with roles in The Mummy Returns in 2001 and The Scorpion King in 2002. Though initially modest, these roles were crucial stepping stones that propelled him into the limelight of the entertainment industry. Film by film, Johnson steadily built upon his success, eventually becoming one of the highest paid actors globally. The whispers of doubt that once echoed in his mind were now silenced by the overwhelming acclaim of audiences and his resounding box office triumphs. Johnson narrative is a masterclass in mastering self-doubt. Instead of yielding to it, he harnessed it as a catalyst for growth and self-improvement. His journey from a football player whose career was cut short to a wrestling icon and a Hollywood megastar, not to mention a successful entrepreneur with ventures like Hermana Tequila Brand, Seven Bucks Productions Company, and the XFL American Football League, exemplifies the power of resilience, adaptability, and unwavering self-belief. Today, Dwayne The Rock Johnson is a symbol of the indomitable human spirit. His life story serves as a personal reminder that self-doubt is not an insurmountable barrier, but a challenge to be embraced and overcome. It is a clarion call to all who face self-doubt. Believe in yourself, for in that belief lies the path to extraordinary achievement. Like Dwayne Johnson, through my own journey, I have come to recognize that fear and doubt are more than just fleeting emotions. They are potent forces that intertwine in a destructive dance, each fueling the other in a relentless cycle. Fear insidiously creeps into our thoughts, casting doubts on our abilities and worth, and creating long, daunting shadows over our dreams. It plants the seed of self-doubt, causing us to question our every move and undermining our self-confidence. This self-doubt becomes fear's perfect accomplish, anchoring us in a place with chains of hesitation and a fear of taking risks. It limits our perspective, blinds us to opportunities, and silences the voice of our true potential. The outcome is a self-imposed confinement, where aspirations are stifled and dreams are choked by a cloud of what-ifs and if onlys. Fueled by this paralyzing self-doubt, fear of failure leads us into a cycle of procrastination and evasion, a downward spiral that seems to distance us from our goals. We find ourselves immobilized, held back by the fear of missteps. But here's the thing about this cycle. It's not just a trap. It's a test, a test of our resolve, courage, an unwavering spirit to break free from these shackles. This cycle of stagnation is not our destiny. It's merely a challenge, an invitation to rise, to face our fears, to look doubt in the eye and say no more. Yet in confronting these obstacles, we discover our greatest victory. The moment that we step beyond the shadows of fear and self-doubt is the moment that we ignite our true potential. We come to realize that the key to breaking free has always been within us, waiting to be unleashed. This epiphany is not merely an escape, but a reawakening, a revelation of our inherent strength and the boundless possibilities that lie ahead. In our exploration of self-doubt, it's very important to understand that it's more than just a fleeting emotion. It's a matter of perception that can significantly distort our self-image. This ever-present voice of uncertainty isn't an enemy to defeat, but a skewed view of ourselves inviting us into deeper self-awareness. On one side of the spectrum are individuals who are reaching for extraordinary achievements, yet they're threatened by the weight of self-doubt, plagued by feelings of inadequacy. They perceive themselves as unworthy of success. On the opposite side are individuals who, despite their remarkable achievements, struggle to internalize their successes. They often attribute their achievements to luck or other external factors, leading them into the shadows of imposter syndrome, where they unwittingly diminish their own accomplishments. Imposter syndrome is akin to a masquerade, a relentless feeling of being an imposter, despite glaring achievements. Those grappling with this syndrome find themselves doubting their abilities, attributing their successes to mere chance rather than their own merit. The phenomenon is widespread, sparring no one, not even luminaries. Maya Angelou, Tom Hanks, and countless others have voiced their personal battles with these daunting imposter feelings. The American Psychological Association notes that about 70% of people 
experience these feelings at some point. Have you ever wondered what fuels this persistent doubt of imposter syndrome? This complex condition doesn't just appear spontaneously. It's born from a nuanced mix, personality traits, and environmental influences. Imagine growing up in an environment where achievement reigns supreme, planting early seeds of self-doubt. Or picture entering a professional landscape where you stand out due to your gender, race, or background, constantly feeling like an outsider. Delving into the origins of imposter syndrome means uncovering the deep layers of fear and self-doubt. These aren't merely temporary emotions. They are deeply rooted perceptions that significantly influence how we view ourselves and our roles in the world. This exploration is a journey to the core of our insecurities, a quest to comprehend why we feel unworthy even when others recognize our value. Understanding the roots of imposter syndrome is crucial. It allows us to recalibrate our self-perception, confidently embrace our true identity, and acknowledge our achievements and potential without self-imposed limitations. It's about stepping out of the shadows of self-doubt into the light of self-acceptance, viewing ourselves through a lens, clarity, and confidence. Self-doubt, which as we've discussed, is a complex emotion, arises from various internal and external influences. Let's examine its common triggers and manifestations. The first is negative self-perception and self-talk. Often originating from past experiences or social pressures, a distorted self-image can cultivate feelings of inadequacy. This leads to a cycle of negative self-talk erecting mental barriers that prevent individuals from achieving their full potential. Second, there's perfectionism and procrastination. For high achievers, the quest for perfection can be both a motivator and a hindrance. While aiming for excellence is commendable, an unyielding drive for perfection and fear of mistakes can spiral into self-doubt. This quest for perfection often results in procrastination, where fear of errors inhibits starting tasks, leading to missed opportunities and stunted growth. Next, there's the fear of failure and success alike. The dreaded fear of failure, coupled with an equally intense fear of success, is a classic sign of self-doubt. This fear isn't just about the outcomes themselves, but about the changes that they bring. Adapting to change, whether failure or success, can be daunting and contribute to mental paralysis that impacts goal pursuit. Intriguingly, though, as very well mine explains, this isn't just about the fear of failure or success itself. It's about the change that comes with them. And let's face it, dealing with changes is not exactly a walk in the park for most of us. Fourth, there's sensitivity to criticism. Handling criticism is always a challenge, but when it starts to define your self-perception, it indicates that self-doubt is at play. If criticism tends to linger in your mind, overshadowing your thoughts, it's a sign that self-doubt influences your narrative. And then lastly, there's comparison with others. Constantly measuring yourself against others and dwelling upon your perceived flaws while magnifying Magnifying others' successes is a fertile ground for self-doubt. This relentless comparison not only exasperates feelings of inadequacy, but also crafts a harmful narrative that can pervade different aspects of your life, obstructing personal growth and well-being. Understanding these triggers is key overcoming self-doubt. By recognizing and confronting these factors, we can start dismantling the negative narratives that we've constructed and pave the way for a more confident and fulfilled self. So now let's explore the mental toll of self-doubt. I know from my own personal experience, self-doubt doesn't just visit, it storms in, turning our mental world upside down and rearranging everything in its path. According to Psychology Today, self-doubt can be constructive when used as motivation. However, the harsh truth is that for most, self-doubt is less a steed to be ridden and more an overwhelming force that tramples our mental well-being. If left unchecked, self-doubt can morph into something much more sinister, anxiety or depression, which starts as a faint whisper of uncertainty about our ability can quickly escalate into a deafening roar of fear and apprehension. Research from PubMed Central reveals that individuals prone to chronic self-doubt experience higher levels of stress and depressive symptoms compared to those who manage their self-doubts more effectively. Self-doubt's insidious nature also extends to clouding our decision-making, often dredging up past failures. Cognitive psychologist Dr. Gary Klein notes that this can lead us to analysis paralysis, where we become mirrored in overthinking and indecision. When engulfed in self-doubt, our self-esteem inevitably suffers. What was once a fortress of confidence begins to erode, crumbling under the weight of persistent doubt. A study published in the Personality in Individual Differences Journal highlights that chronic self-doubters typically have lower confidence levels, putting them at risk 
or diminish self-esteem. So how can we combat fear and self-doubt? We can implement strategies like cognitive restructuring and anxiety optimization. These techniques offer a path to reframe our thinking, manage anxiety effectively, and enhance our intrinsic motivation, providing a roadmap to reclaim control over our mental landscape and steer away from the quagmire of self-doubt. So let's explore using cognitive restructuring as a way to tackle fear and self-doubt. Cognitive restructuring is a potent therapeutic method designed to dismantle and transform limiting beliefs that underpin fear and self-doubt. This technique involves pinpointing challenging negative thought patterns with the goal of substituting irrational or harmful beliefs with balanced and realistic ones, thus fostering healthier mental perspectives and emotional well-being. Here are some steps on how you could apply cognitive restructuring. It starts with awareness. The first initial step is recognizing negative thoughts. This self-awareness is vital for identifying the self-doubt patterns that may act as barriers, and then this leads to identification. Pinpoint specific negative thoughts linked to self-doubt, such as, I'm not good enough, I will fail, or I'm unworthy. Then there's examination. Critically evaluate these thoughts. Are they instances of past successes? Are there instances of past successes or positive feedback that contradict these negative beliefs? Then that moves us to a challenge. Actively dispute and reframe these negative thoughts. Replace them with more grounded and affirmative alternatives, like I might encounter challenges, but I have triumphed over difficulties before. And then this leads us to practice. Consistency is crucial. Regular practice of cognitive Cognitive restructuring solidifies positive thought patterns over time, gradually replacing the old self-limiting ones. By incorporating cognitive restructuring into your routine, you can effectively rewire your thought processes, leading to a more empowered and self-assured approach to overcoming fears and self-doubt. Now let's explore anxiety optimization. In my upcoming book, Passion Struck, I explore the transformative journey of overcoming self-doubt, drawn from my personal experiences as a high school runner. Initially, I was plagued, like many people with pre-race nerves that hindered my performance. But a pivotal shift in mindset led to a profound transformation in my approach to both running and life. This transformation involved key strategies to break free from the shackles of self-doubt. The first strategy I employed was acknowledging fear. I realized that fear of failure was a natural response, but I refused to let it control my actions. Understanding that anxiety about new challenges is normal was the first step in overcoming it. Second, I challenged the status quo. I pushed beyond the comfort of familiar routine. Understanding that real growth and self-discovery occurs when I stepped out of my comfort zone. Third, I learned how to reframe failure. I began to see failure not as a setback, but as a vital part of learning. Each failure became a lesson, a stepping stone propelling me towards future successes. And the fourth thing I did was build resilience. Tackling small challenges and gradually increasing their complexity helped me to build resilience. This practice not only boosted my confidence, but also lessened the grip of self-doubt. Through persistent practice and the power of mindful visualization, I was able to transform my approach to running, harnessing anxiety as a driving force for peak performance. By learning how to thrive in the zone, of optimal anxiety. I pushed my abilities to new limits while continuously progressing. This personal journey encapsulates a universal truth. Optimizing anxiety and conquering self-doubt are crucial whether you're striving for extraordinary achievements or battling feelings of unworthiness after success. By embracing challenges, reframing failures, and fostering resilience, you too can turn self-doubt into a powerful engine for growth, pushing past limitations to realize your full potential. As I discovered on the track, these principles are applicable across all facets of life, guiding you not only to achieve, but also fully embrace your extraordinary accomplishments. So now, I want to take you through some actionable strategies for overcoming self-doubt and fear. In order to do this requires more than just understanding. It demands practical, everyday strategies. Let's dive into actions that you can take to strengthen your mental resilience. The first is to cultivate self-awareness. Use meditation and mindfulness to become acutely aware of your thoughts and emotions. This practice helps you identify when self-doubt arises, empowering you to address its root causes effectively. Second, challenge negative self talk. Don't let your inner critic dominate the conversation. Question its negative assertions and replace them with positive affirmation. Remind yourself of your capabilities and worth, reinforcing beliefs like, I am capable. I can learn and grow. I am worthy of my achievements. Third, set and pursue realistic goals. While ambitious goals are admirable, they must be attainable. 
break your goals into smaller, achievable milestones. Each small victory builds confidence and propels you towards larger aspirations. Fourth, practice self-compassion. Treat yourself with kindness, particularly when faced with setbacks. Understand that mistakes are part of the journey, not failure. They offer invaluable lessons for refinement and growth. Fifth, celebrate your strengths and progress. Regularly remind yourself of your strengths, skills, and past achievements. Acknowledge every step forward, however small. Celebrating progress nurtures a positive self-view and maintains motivation. Six, integrate positive daily habits. Build daily habits that enhance your well-being, such as exercise, nutritious eating, and continuous learning. These habits boost your mood, energy, and self-perception, fortifying you against self-doubt. Remember that overcoming self-doubt is a continuous process. Patience, self-kindness, and consistent practice of these strategies will gradually replace self-doubt with a strong, confident inner voice leading you to realize your full potential. As we conclude this exploration into the depths of fear and self-doubt, we've unearthed their insidious nature and the profound impact that they can have on our lives. This journey isn't just about awareness. It's a call to action, a challenge to transform your inner narrative and embrace your true potential. These strategies we've discussed are more than just theoretical ideas. They are practical tools designed to reshape your mindset, challenge limiting beliefs, and build the resilience that you need to overcome your battles. Now you face a a crucial decision. Will you let fear and self-doubt steer your path? Or will you take control of your story using the insights and strategies that you've learned to break free and fully realize your potential? The choice is yours and it's a powerful one. Choose to transcend your self-imposed limits and step into a life filled with passion and purpose. To dive deeper into these concepts and solidify your journey into conquering self-doubt, my book, Passion Struck, 12 Powerful Principles to Unlock Your Purpose and Ignite Your Most Intentional Life Life offers not just insights, but a detailed workbook for high achievers. If you pre-order your copy now, you will gain access to an invaluable resource guiding you step-by-step -step with different exercises and templates to overcome self-doubt. In the words of Marianne Williamson, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we're powerful beyond measure. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give permission for others to do the same. As we are liberated from our own fear, our presence automatically liberates others. Embrace this truth. Let your light shine and become a beacon for others. Live fearlessly, overcome doubt, and inspire those around you to do the same. Remember that your journey to a passion-struck life begins with a single intentional step. Take that step today. I hope you enjoyed the show and I wanted to thank everyone who wrote in this week and especially those who listened. You're about to hear a preview of the Passion Struck podcast I did with Dr. Lucia Aronica, a lecturer at Stanford University and instructor for the Stanford Genomic Certificate Program. She has dedicated her life to understanding the intricate dance between nutrition, genetics, and epigenetics. Her research and teaching have illuminated the profound impact of our daily choices on our genes and our overall well-being. This episode is a treasure trove of information about epigenetics. For me, individualizing epigenetics can be done right now and in a very easy way. So we first start from the universal principles. In general, we know that an epigenetically complete diet involves animal foods and plant foods. We know how these foods nourish our epigenome. Then we need to personalize to people preferences and conditions. We rise by lifting others, so share the show with those that you love and care about. If you know someone who's dealing with self-doubt, then definitely share this with them. In the meantime, do your best to apply what you hear on the show so that you can live what you listen. Until next time, go out there and become passion-struck.